everyone the dialogue thank you for being with me this is a body language reading analysis of Clayton Weatherston now he is a New Zealand man who killed and murdered an ex-girlfriend of his called Sophie Elliott. This was in Dunedin in 2009 in New Zealand. This was big news in New Zealand at the time it happened and also with this trial. So I'm gonna look at his body language just to read what's really going on behind the surface. Now he murdered this young woman and this is Sophie Elliott the brilliant young woman that Clayton Witherston murdered. Unfortunately, the injuries that she suffered were horrific. She had many, many stabs to her whole body, including her throat, many there. The tip of her nose was sliced off her ears. Any re resemblance of attractiveness was cut by the likes of Clayton Weatherston. Now she had stab wounds to the eyes, her genitals, her breast, her left cheek, her left cheek temple and her ears. Now this man definitely wanted to erase her attractiveness and erase her in general. Now he says he murdered her because she supposedly caused him emotional pain. He went to her room, her house, they were no longer together and he decided to murder her in her own room. Now this trial, is where he's yes admitted to murdering this woman however he says it's manslaughter and not murder let's have a look at this malignant narcissist so both are ears or i don't i don't know is it just a coincidence they're all features of attractiveness well i don't i i my personal view of attractiveness is that those features are not important i suppose it's how they correlate with one another and how they aligned and, and everything else so this is a man who went up to this young woman's room up the stairs on a ruse that he just wanted to talk and then he stabbed her and did horrific things. Now you'll notice in his face there's a slight smile going up and that is indicative of duping delight. So he's delighting in what he did. Let's have a look again. I suppose it's how they correlate with one another and how they aligned and, and everything else. This is the attractiveness he's talking about. He's actually quite happy he erased her beauty. Ah. Uh, you can't just have nice ears and you know it's the whole package so and that's generically she was attractive let's go back and have a look what he did with his tongue and his mouth and that's generically right there we even had disgust in his nose she was attractive aligned and and everything else uh, that's a laugh it's a duping delight laugh and then a feigned not sureness with his shoulders going up now that is like a lizard tongue coming out that's a lizard poke and what he's saying is ha 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 look what i did see what i did you can't just have nice ears and and then he's got duping delight so these three things shoulders go up the lizard tongue that comes out and he's even got a little bit of disgust coming in plus duping delight in his mouth so there's four things you know it's the whole package so and that's generically she was attractive Right there, so he took a big, hard swallow, generically he was attractive. So he's actually seen as a narcissist rather than a psychopath, and is similar to a psychopath, no remorse, no guilt. But you saw that he'd had a hard swallow, so there's something there that could indicate some guilt or uncomfortableness. Did you cut the nipple off her breast? I don't know little voice as a reader i can't believe him when i see here some people use a weak voice they go back and oh, I'm, I'm just innocent i don't know i don't know Stabber in both eyes i don't know and he's blinking a lot he's under stress and if you see that you even that okay so he pulls back on the mouth i know something i know lots that i'm holding back and right there you've got anger this is massive anger. You've got the pullback of the lip there, which is also in conjunction with contempt, holding back, and head goes down. There's so much to that, those mannerisms right there. Doing all those things, I suggest? Um, I don't. I would have, and even in chief, told you everything I... I, I, I mean, I did. You, you would tell the truth if you remembered it. <laughs> Absolutely. That's not true. That little laugh, huh, absolutely, he laughed. When you laugh, you're not meaning it at all when it's in this particular context. Let's go and have a look at that slow-mo. Truth, if you remember. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. That's a duping delight laugh, everyone. 
and then a feigned sniffle with no sniffles. It's a ploy to, to fill in the gaps, to fill in the moment. Remembered where the knife was when the officer asked you? Um, you remember that, don't you? You were able to convey that straight away. Now he's buying time. I had some time before the officer came into the room, but Mr Bates... Um... Being oh so formal to the lawyer there, he's trying to get one over because he thinks he's more intelligent than the lawyer. They're looking for the knife. No, no, please. Thinking, thinking, blinking. I, I, you'd have to um, tell me specifically what I said in order for your question to say that, that I recalled. Did you and he's under a lot of stress. Remember that where the knife was? And that little lick across there is like another lizard poke and it's anger as well because it's swiping the mouth. Well, not. How's your memory on that? Let's, let's um, I knew it was in the area around Sophie, but I, I, what you, if you could um, re recall the comment that I made to the officer that justifies the question, and then, then we'll go from there. Plenty of time. Yeah, even he's not sure of what he's saying, that's so why he's touching his mouth, oh, we'll do covering that. his mouth. When we come to that cool. Day. Cool. No, he's being sarcastic. You... And there we go. That's that... that extreme anger he sh he feels like he wants to get it over you know over the lawyer here he's angry pulling back of that mouth that is also contempt anger and contempt indicated you remembered you'd use the the knife first and the scissors later um is that something you remember that's something i deduced from having had the memories as i said of the cut on my hand um having seen um, the memory of, the, or felt the memory of the scissors, so definitely the scissors at the end, and the cutting of my hand with some sort of blade, I assumed it was the knife. Again, no sniffles to be sniffed. You just told us you remember that you didn't lock the door. Is that correct? At what stage? Any stage. Okay, so he's buying time? Um, yeah, true. Yep. That's right. So you remember that, not locking the door, is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. I don't, okay, let's flip it around. I don't recall locking the door. I don't recall not locking the door. Okay, so we've got duping delight in the mouth again. You can remember everything up until the time that you say Sophie waves some scissors at you. That's basically... Duping delight again. So this man is full of it. He got 15 years, which is a long time for New Zealand, and he's now doing time. He'll be released within the next five years. So this is the dialogue. Thank you so much for watching, and this was a Patreon requested video, and it's one I've wanted to cover for a while. This guy, watch out for him, people in New Zealand, because he's no good. Thanks for watching.